What's going on everybody? It's Rev and welcome back to another Dauntless video. We are back once again. We got our nifty Terra Axe and you know, there's actually a reason. Hmm. Uh, there's actually a reason that we craft this, crafted the Skarn Axe in particular. Now, I talked about Skarn uh, weapons in the past and how they're really good. But you know what else is really good is the shields it provides and the Skarn weapons are really good against Valamir, especially in the first encounter. And you're gonna you're gonna kind of bear witness to this because I think if we can, we can. We're just gonna do it. I think. I think we're just. I think we're just gonna send it on a Valamir, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. And the reason for that is because it's probably not gonna be fun. We might get clapped. But we can do our best. But it might be a good time to talk about the strengths of the axe and also the weaknesses of the axe. Uh, are we prepared, though? Are we prepared to take on Valamir? I, we got bulwarks. We got a fair amount. Oh, let, you know, here's what we're going to do. We're going to craft. Bring bulwarks to Valamir. Just do it. Just bring bulwarks to Valamir. I'm just going to do craft 10. Hack it, dude. I need as I need as much help as I can get. And craft ten frenzies. We'll do ten blitz. We're just gonna stock up, all right? We are stocking. All right. Before the dawn. Pursuit. Radiant Behemoth. Valamir. Can we patrol? I mean, there's you can't you can't patrol. I already know you can't patrol. Valamir. All right. Valamir. What to say about Valamir? Valamir is like a bullet hell. You know, you know those games in the arcade where you play as the little plane and you have a bunch of little orbs flying at you? That's what Valamir is like. And the Valamir fight, Valamir isn't the threat. It's everything around Valamir that's the threat. And so it's about finding a safe spot, getting in your damage, and, and just kind of playing smart. I mean, this game is about playing smart, let's be honest. Play, playing to the optimal capacity is about playing smart. But there are great ways to be able to reduce your damage, and I want to go over them before I actually get to Valamir, and that is... Nine lives, tough. Um, Iceborne if you have it, but I, I don't think that you can get a meaningful amount of Iceborne to, uh, to make it worth it. So I'm gonna, uh, we'll just say nine lives and tough because that's gonna be available to to newer slayers in in a much more abundant fashion than than Iceborne. But if you can get Iceborne, cool. It it. It's really, it's one of the most OP, if not the most OP. It is the most OP, let's be honest. It's the most OP defensive cell. Gives you lifesteal and damage reduction when you're below a certain amount. Um, we haven't seen this map before, and typically I will actually run, there's a little jet right there that I'll just kind of get a, uh, a sit rep of the map. See where the behemoth is? All right, this is Valamir. He's a... He's a hulky boy. And you'll see him teleport around the map. Now the axe is good because when the orbs aren't up, this means that you can just lean in for free. You know, you can get to Valamir for free. We have a Shrike Lantern. It teleports away. I hear it coming in. So you got to get to Valamir. These lasers are kind of scary. Oh, don't. I, would, I just didn't want to go off the edge. So he charges, these are really all, that's really all Valamir does is use, create these little novels. I'm taking so much damage. It's fine. It's just looking at me. All right, almost stagger. We'll heal. Don't panic. Roll the explosions, get a KO, maybe. 50k damage with any axe and two hunts. Easy peasy. All 
Damn. All right, there are the orbs. And you can see that we're already kind of like out of the way of the orbs. Beating, beating the orb spawn is pretty big. I'm getting, ah, man, my timing is so off. I'm gonna resolve this because I'm a big boy. I'm going for that horn too. So, um, I'm I'm saying that Valamir's not that threatening, but it's everything around Valamir that is more threatening. I'm gonna use a bulwark because I brought them. I'm gonna use a frenzy tonic because I brought them. I'm gonna heal myself because. All right, so uh, yeah, this is Aether mode for Valamir. Is interruptible. I'm gonna interrupt it or try to. So how you do that is you get the first priority. This gives you invulnerability. This gives you extra damage. So purple is on invuln. The red crystals are additional damage. It makes your attacks explode uh, for a certain amount of hits, I believe. And the green is HP regen. We'll grab one of those because Phoenix Labs knows I need some extra HP in my life. Getting it, get our debt stack. I'm actually going to run over to the tail. And this is one of the cool things of the axe and Flight of Ruin is you can kind of reposition and go for different parts. You can throw your axe out and then meet your axe at the place that you want to be and call it back. It's really nice. So this is the Enrage. I'm going to I'm gonna stay away from it so you, everybody can see it. Creates a dome around it. Uh, I like to cr kill one drone and then create space for myself. And then I'll just actually lean up. Oh. lean into the dome and when this dome dies is kind of when the enrage ends you see you know, he's just like okay i'm i'm done can even do that with its with its tail rather annoying but it's all right you can actually hit these things with your lantern so if you have a different lantern than i am currently using uh i have an attack speed aura but if you have like the drafts lantern or the Pangar Lantern. You can deal enough damage to break those with just your Lantern. The Drask is ideal, but... See how I'm just kind of bypassing the, the lasers? Like, I, I'm listening. I'm I'm listening for the audio cue. And then running pa to where I'm hearing it. Before Valamir even ports in. Now, the teleport can deal damage. And the drones can obviously deal damage. I'm just going to get away from that. Because my timing is awful. I know my timing is awful, so I'm going to just preemptively get away. And I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just rolling to the side or, you know, attempting to roll the explosion itself. Did I cut the tail already? I did not. But we're going to. Mark my words. I believe it's trying to run right now. Yeah, it's super beat up. And you can know uh, there's actually a visibility or like a visible cue that the a part on Valamir is broken. The the lights on or like the radiance of its particular limbs actually fade and it, they look broken, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, once I got my my ish together, I was able to uh, get some breaks. You know, not take a lot of damage. I'm kind of chilling. I still have three pots left. I'm feeling comfy. But the main thing, I mean, I, I think it's important to state that damage mitigation is way more important than damage in this case. And even if you're playing a slow weapon like the axe, you need to be prepared to make big moves. Right? Oh, we got a Terra proc. Terra procs are super neat because... They heal us. Again, damage mitigation. Give me that. Oh, I tried to beat it. I tried to beat it out. Didn't work, but we're going to destroy some of these drones. I think uh, I might need to destroy two because the last time I got, got disrupted a little bit. And the cool thing about a little bit, little bit of tech here is you're actually building determination. Let me see if I can hit this through the, uh... Okay, I wasn't able to. I tried. It was a, it was an effort. It was an effort of sorts. Cut the tail. Nice. Uh, 
Um, so we have the Skarn weapon. I kind of lost my train of thought. I apologize. But we uh, we have the Skarn weapon to generate shields when we when we get in on Valamir. We have Bulwark Tonics. We have our Healing Tonics. We have the Force Field that Valamir gives us with the Purple Crystal. KO, please. Nope. Oh. Kobe. Ugh. So we have a lot of damage mitigation as well as the Axe's Resolve ability. And you can bring even more. You can bring more tough if you have it. You can bring nine lives. Nine lives is great. Nine lives is actually the, the skill that um, Valamir's weapon has on it. Uh, on some of its pieces, at least, I should say. And so not only are you getting Radiant Resistance, so you're going to take less damage. That was really lucky, but also really cool. We're just, we're breaking up. I think we broke everything on Valamir. It's got to be almost dead then. You know, it's got the healing as well. There's a lot of stuff that you can do to, to mitigate the damage from the orbs, the lasers, the, the explosions. And the important thing is to know when to step away too. It's not like Valamir is chasing after you. You know, it's, it's not charging you. It's not doing anything. It might fire a laser at you and that might suck, but you can get away, no problem. And, and just, you know, take take a moment to, to heal up and collect yourself and organize the game plan. It's not rushing you. And that's something that I want to uh, to state because that's important. Important to know. We killed our first Valamir. That part of the quest is out of the way. We got, a, got a little bit of our ass kicked, you know, in the beginning, but that's all right. We learned and we adapted and uh, eventually got there. I apologize. My mustache is just all up in my nose. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, fellas, you got a beard going on and you got to trim it. And it's just, it's just up there. You know what I'm saying? Whew. All right, we're good. We got some sort of core going on here. We're going to check those out. Bladestorm? Barbed. Ugh. That's what I'm, that's what I think of getting those this early. Ugh. Plus one rage hunter. I'll take it. I'll take that. Looking at a lot of dust right now, though. Looking at a lot of dust. So we finished something, right? We finished. Tell me, Admiral's Eye, what do you got for me? Looking Radiance. Fractal Hide from a Valamir. Lightweight frame, 200 grams. We got a mod. Not a very useful mod for the repeaters, but we got it nonetheless. We have access to the standard barrel. I would like to get the blizzard barrel, but I don't got the feathers for scrave to do that yet we'll put this at plus five we'll put everything on our repeaters for plus five maybe we'll do charog with our repeaters Ooh, that costed some shock orbs i don't, I don't know how happy i was about giving those up right away before the dawn and bring on the knights do we have before the dawn Did I do that for no reason? Before the dawn, hunt Valamir, craft a radiant weapon. Okay. I was I was just like What? Hmm, what do we want to fight Riftstalker with? That is a question. That is a question. I'm thinking hammer. Yo. Okay. Well, we might need to fight Valamir again. We may need to fight Valamir again. We can do that. I think we can do that. Okay. What do you guys think? Yeah, we'll do another we'll do another Valamir. Maybe we'll do a different weapon this time. Hmm. Different weapon though. What are we gonna play? Do a hammer? Do a sword? We'll do hammer versus Skarn. We'll do chain blades maybe versus Rage Tail. That might be fun. And we have so much to do then. We have to craft up. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna do a Blaze Patrol and we'll see what we get. 
and uh because i'm gonna i'm gonna go for some uh hellion chain blades next i think that's my next order of business hellion chain blades for any of the chain bladers out there if you are playing chain blades it's your main it's it's on main uh you definitely need to get the hellion chain blades max them keep them forever best in slot easy easily best in slot for the fire element at least but even even in some cases they're better they're better than most other elements versus other behemoths but if you're doing like escalation hellion chain blades are the way to go but we're gonna keep playing the axe because we've done the sword and and the strategy on hellion never changes no matter what weapon you are playing but Axe is a slow weapon. The sword's kind of a fast weapon, so you'll get you'll get a you'll get a good idea of what's going on. Gonna farm a little bit of Hellion. We got lucky. This is a Blaze Patrol, so not only are we getting the the Hellion parts, we're getting those Blaze orbs, which is really really nice. Now remember the strategy for Hellion is to go for the legs, break a leg, then go for the tail or the head, depending on what part you need. Then go for the other leg, and then go for the other part that you might need. Now the issue with that is. You know, if you're playing in a group, not everybody's going to, you know, be on the same page. So you need to go for the go for the part either head or tail based on on your need, right? If you need the head, go for the head. If you need the tail, go for the tail. And then if you break the other leg and it falls over and stuff, then uh then try and get that other part. Cuz breaking parts means potential for more orbs. You know, you might need it for a bounty or something. But uh, all right, let's get into it. Hellion always does this little cannonball move, so learning how to dodge it is relatively easy, actually, once you know what to look for. It's you you dodge at the apex of of the of the cannonball. Roll into the side there. I guess we'll work on this leg since it is right here. Roll into the side. And notice how I'm, I'm like I'm getting in one charges and I'm cool with it, right? Like Hellion's not giving me a chance to charge the three. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to do it. And I want to get in damage and I want to charge my axe because eventually all these small hits that I'm getting in with the axe are going to turn into a stagger. You know, the axe doesn't deal baby stagger damage. So I'm just getting in these one charges. I'm chilling. I'm patient. Sometimes I won't hit the leg and that's all right. What I'm going to do here is actually... So, Flight of Ruin generates charge. I'm going to resolve this. A little bit risky. Don't try this at home. Switching sides, because this is the weak leg. See? Now, I'm getting an opening here. And it's almost dagger. I'm just going to say a good night. And now that it's Aether Form, I'm going to hit it scales. And I'm going to try and get some of these uh, orbs because this is going to help me with my charge speed. Nice aim, nerd. We have uh, determination level two on deck. We're going to fly to ruin, get our special in. It's going to enrage. That's fine. I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it do its thing. I'm going to actually get behind it here and not do anything because I missed. Cannonball, Apex, roll. Roll to the side. Aiming for that leg. Uh, not super successful. Getting a little low here. A little low for my lagging. Gonna pop a pot. Remember, we have bulwarks in our inventory if we need them. If you're taking a lot of damage here. Alright, now is the time to pop. Oh, missed, but that's all right. I'm going to hope it comes back and gets me enough charge. I'm going to juke it. Kobe. Yeah, level three. That tail's almost off. We'll go for the other leg. I know we've gotten good damage on the other leg, so I ain't really tripping. Oh, it's almost KO'd again. That's good, too. So we're going to pop the tail off and then we'll break that leg and then we'll go for the head. Notice how I use a horizontal slash there to kind of reach or, uh, reach to the hitbox of the leg. 
as opposed to just like standing still and charging that uh vertical ripper just gonna beat on him and now the finale oh i'm out of stamp oh don't leave okay well Getting heals off of our Terra proc. We're not even on element here, right? We're not even rocking our element. We're not rocking a nice weapon, but we're chilling, right? We're chilling. We're, we're staying safe, playing smart. And slam dunking Hellions with our axe. Like it ain't no thing. There's a little tutorial on hacks. At hacks. Hacks versus Hellion. <laughs> axe versus Hellion. Little, little cheeky five minute hunt there. Got some uh, blaze orbs, 23 blaze orbs with our super sweet patrol chest. And we got most of the breaks that matter. We got hella hell hide and a bunch of uh, other stuff from the, the face and legs and tail. So we'll see if that's enough to train or to make the chain blades. And uh, we'll probably call that episode here after we're crafted up and kind of organized for the next one. Sorry for that little screen shake. I jiggle my mouse a little bit to see when I'm like fully loaded into Ramsgate. It's like a, it's like a bad habit I have. So I know when I can move. The chain blades. Can we make them? Yes, we can. Nice. But how far? Plus three. Now. Looking at the chain blades, overpower, I mean, come on, right? I've been preaching overpower this whole time. We have 10th hit in a row, deals plus 100 damage and major, major blaze damage to power cell slots. This can be overpower. This is this plus one at max level at plus 10 is going to be plus three and we can throw in one more plus three overpower. We'll have plus six overpower. I really only have, I mean, I have overpower and rage hunter in this build, but you know, you combine this, you combine these two and you have what plus six overpower gives me. You know what I'm saying? Overpower is really good. I'm just saying, look for it, fish for it. Um, we got our chain blades. Let's see what, let's see what armor's looking like. See what our armor is looking like. These aren't crafted, so we'll get some mastery here. We might get a cell or core or something. No, nope, we're chilling. But we are level 14. Behemoth mastery level 8. Let's look at our rewards here. Let's go to Behemoth. You get plus one bulwark tonic, which is nice. We love our bulwarks here. And slayer rank. We'll get a silver slayer core. So we have a few things on the horizon. Let's look at our Axe Mastery. We have uh, a level four now, that's nice. Maybe there's a couple Axes that we can... I really want that, that offense core. Maybe there's a... So if I'm an Axe player, I'm looking, I'm looking in here. I'm like, hmm, what can I make? What can I make? So I can make this, send it, Charog. Plenty of mats. Plenty of mats. I'm just, I'm throwing them all away. Probably going to regret this later, but yo, I'm, I'm looking to get some weapon mastery up in this piece. You know what I'm saying? All of our Nasher gear is, is back. All right. I'm looking to get some mastery. All right. And we got some. All right. We're level five. Kind of. We're mildly chilling. So you can see crafting all of these will net me some, some XP, but I wanted, I was, you know, we're fishing for overpower, let's say, you know, we got a silver offense core. What better way to get plus three overpower than, uh, Ooh, okay. Uh, plus three predator is not bad. It's not bad. We won't be using predator in this playthrough though. Plus one conditioning is worth noting. 
you know, we didn't get the best stuff in the world, but we're chilling. We're still chilling. All right. Special forces. Equip new weapon special. Where'd we get our new special at? Hmm? Oh, maybe it was the sword. Did we get the new sword special? Did we get, um, Valiant? No, not Valiant. What's it called? Ah, we did Ardent Cyclone. This is a spin to win. That's what, as we call it. Spin to win. Probably the worst sword special in the, that the, uh, the game has to offer us. I really, you, I highly value the mobility of Valiant Overdrive. So we'll just change that back. But if you like Valiant Overdrive, there is a, there is nothing wrong with it. The, um, we'll use Ardent Cyclone in a future video. And, uh, I'll tell you the, the, the perks and drawbacks of it. How about that? It's one thing to, it's one thing to say that it's the worst sword special, but it's another thing to kind of prove it. Anyway, we'll put our money where our mouth is. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's where we're going to draw this, uh, this episode to a close. Hopefully all you Axe players have been sated. Hopefully uh, we, we can move on to the hammer, maybe a little bit more repeaters and uh, Aether Strikers, all that good stuff. But we'll get into more of the weapons. Thank you guys so much for walking. Walking? Thank you so much for walking. Now, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to support the channel, uh, subscribe to the channel. Use creator code REBIRAD in the Dauntless in the Game store. English is hard. I hang out on Twitch from time to time. I've been known to stream there. And also, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you on the Shattered Isles.